Hello! My name is Secondwind814, and welcome to my review of, of Escape Room. Yes, the first, first big, big, I guess you shouldn't say big, but the first horror movie of January of the year. And I was about to say of January, but this is based on the first, first uh, horror movie of 2019. In. And well, surprisingly, it was actually enjoyable. Yes, I actually liked this movie. Movie, yeah, yeah. Despite it being a, a January movie, movie, this movie was actually rather enjoyable. Oh, oh. I mean, and I was very surprised. I was not expecting a lot from this movie. But, in the hurry thing about it, so, I could go into deep plot, but the plot base of this of this movie is essentially a, a bunch of strangers meet, and strangers meet, a bunch of strangers meet, strangers get caught to do an escape room, and then they basically go through a series of deadly rooms, and they all get killed off one, one by one. Hun. Hun. So, hun. And basically, yeah, if you're wondering, yes. This is essentially a modern day, essentially I guess you could consider it a, a modern day a reimagining of the Saw. Oh, movie only here the, or the, or the victims aren't alone, and they only instead oh, and the traps are essentially entire rooms. Hmm. Now. Now I will say hey, hey, that at, at one of the things I think was that made this movie good was that at this movie he was who he didn't try to make I take itself serious it, it, too seriously. It wasn't. I mean the traps were kind of kind of ridiculous, ridiculous. Like I, I think you see when you see in the uh, trailers the first room is literally a freaking a gigantic oven. And, Oven. I mean, and uh, as far as the, the rooms or trap, whatever you want to call them, they're not. They're not exactly the traditional saw uh, traps where they have all this blood and gore. Uh, but it's definitely or uh, more more uh, puzzle traps with uh, deadly apps that have apps where it's basically a massive. He, the theme of the room is basically a deadly theme. Now, oh, well, I could get into, I could go into deep spoilers, but I mean, why well, I should go into deep spoilers, because I will. But, but I basically described the whole movie, the basic plot. So let's just discuss. So I'm gonna go now. I'm going to go over some of the things that I. I you liked about this movie. Well, I should. Ugh, sorry about that. Lost my train of thought. But I think we should mainly start with the characters. So a lot of the characters are yes, kind of one-dimensional characters. You have Zoe, who is a nerd. Bird. Jason, an aggressive businessman. Amanda, uh, a veteran. Uh, Mike. Ike, he is sort of a, a weird. Ike, I guess you could just I mean, as the trucker. Uh, I forget his name now. Oh. Oh, but Ben, who is is the is the down as a uh, party, a uh, uh, dropout, I guess you could call him, and then Danny, who is the really irritating. Who was basically the irritating dude? Who? And I say irritating dude because I mean he is sort of the he is basically the overhyped hyped uh, what you would call uh, he's sort of the he's that uh, annoying character character he I guess you'd say he's also a nerd but he's all I mean he's basically sort of a Basically, the irritating character. Now, what I, I've just described to you are the characters because they are essentially one note. I shouldn't say one note, but they 
but that each of them has a specific theme. Theme, and thankfully, the, 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 all of their themes work for the movie. They don't. You know, the th characters' backstories is here. Here, her, her, her make it. <clears throat> excuse me. None of the characters' backstories here her, 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 are out of context with the movie. I mean, so, movie. And it's a movie. So, I basically said, it, 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 they go through a series of deadly rooms. Now, obviously, Danny is the first rooms, and they get killed off one by one. Now, Danny, as I said, is the one. Danny, I could, he was the one I couldn't stand the most. Most. Of course, Danny also was the one who got killed first. 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 And then, of course, first. And then, first. Danny, he got, he was the one who got killed first when he fell through the ice. Ice. And then there was also, and then and we had and Amanda, uh, Mike, and then basically Jason. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So, essentially, either in this whole, either in, in this series of deadly rooms, rooms, and if you want, I mean, I guess you could call uh, sort of a, a saw meets cube type deal, only instead of at a, at a, uh, because basically they, they're in this room, a series of rooms, and they're constantly being watched by the game master, master. Right, and so, er, er, bleh, excuse me, master. So it is sort of like a cube, only instead of, this time instead of smaller rooms that have deadly traps in them, or or, or each of them wake or them waking up up, up up restrained somehow in a deadly trap, in a de deadly trap. They're ba they're based the trap. They're basing a series of, of larger. Larger puzzle rooms, rooms that each have a deadly theme and are each trying to kill them somehow. No, so yeah, ah. Ah. that's kind of the kind of the plot again. And now, as far as spoilers go, you've seen the first room in the trailers where he, where it basically heats up, where the uh, first room basically. He turns into a massive oven, but uh, the thing is, is, a lot of these rooms are actually rooms that I thought were pretty creative. You know, the for, uh, for example, there was uh, after the second room, they go to a, they're basically in a cabin, and then they go outside to, a, or well, an outside area, I should say, and it's really freezing cold, 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 and cold. And basically, the thing that's going to kill them there is, is obviously hypothermia. I mean, Dan or fall falling through the ice and drowning, which is what happens to Danny. Me, and then of course there's, of course there's the, there's the, yeah, I guess you say pool hall room, where, but instead, of, uh, but it's basically upside down, and the floor basically, it is basically falling away from them. Him slowly. Yes, it's basically all the rooms are timed. 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 But anyways, is is the rooms are ta all the rooms are ta I'm I'm because and then after the frost room and the uh, upside down pool hall room, whom then they get to the hospital room, whom and whom and then after that it's uh, it's the it's the epileptic room, whom that has a weird. I guess poison, some sort of weird. Uh... Sorry about that. But as I was saying, yeah. And after the the, the hospital room of death, death, where if they don't if they don't won't solve oh, the puzzle in time, they get uh, poisoned. And then there's the uh, and then there's the a psychedelic room, as I was saying, where. It's another, I guess. I'm not sure if it's a strobe. I'm not really sure if it was a strobe effect, <laughs> using a certain strobe effect, or if it was some weird uh, uh, gas. Uh, gas, but they basically start to go crazy and hallucinate. 
Okay, and then of course there's the final room, which which is basically classic like wall crush room. Now I will say, which I think now and basically yes they get killed off one by one. Now range they don't all die in the same. They I mean in the order is kind of mystic. Is kind of uh, I mean, they do get killed off one by one on for the first three rooms, but well, actually, you know, I say that they that everybody uh, uh, at least some of these at least guys in each room until until the last room, um, which is nice. Now, now I will say, like I said earlier, each of these characters has a certain there's backstory. These and these does match up in the context of the film. Basically, each of these characters have been brought into this, uh, into the, his experience because, because well, uh, they're all the lone survivors of a tragedy. Yeah, he, he, like I said, Amanda, uh, she's a she served in Iraq and was the lone survivor of an IED blast. Uh, Zoe, the college student, was the lone survivor of a deadly, of a plane crash. Uh, Jason, the face and the face and the bit. Business me and and he was the lone survivor of a, a boating trip that went bad. Had and um, Ben, it was the lone survivor of a drunk driving incident. And oh, who else did I miss? Is Mike, Mike, the lone survivor, survivor of a of a mining cave in. And then and and of course Dan Annie, who even though he died early, was the first. Was the lone survivor of a Iver her of well, uh, Iver of, of carbon monoxide poisoning. So uh, the th so basically the theme is that they're all lone survivors, and basically either they're trying to see who is the lucky of the luckiest. It's, it's, and I'll get to that hat in a little bit at later. But anyway, so yeah, uh, uh, which I think does work in the context of this episode. Now, well, I will say that uh, even though we have all their backstories, the thing is, is that we don't really see this he it he, he, blah, 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 he uh, manifest best, except maybe a make with Amanda and briefly. Amanda is clearly is afraid because of, of, of surviving in the IED blast, uh, she has PTSD, and she doesn't like fire. Higher. And she doesn't like fire. Higher, and she's and she's not exactly a fan of tight spit. Haces. Is. Now, Haces. And now, or her... And now, her backstory only really comes into play briefly when you know, escaping the first room. She has a sudden attack. I'm, I'm pretty. I don't know if it's claustrophobia or, or what, but she has this sudden attack of hack, hack, hack of hack, hack, and she starts crying in the vent, and that's got was I think was, I think was very well used, used, used. Now I should say, now I. I do want to apologize. I did say they get killed off one by one. The problem with that is that they get basically get killed off one by one in fun, starting with the second room. So I want to, so I do apologize for Isaac for that confused you. But nobody bur nobody gets burned alive. Nobody gets cooked alive in the oven. Other than if sorry to disappoint anybody. I, yeah, that's gonna get me me banned. But anyways. And he's moving right along. Oh, so yeah, uh, yeah obviously Mike, Zoe he ha had her plane crash. So mm, crash. So I mean, maybe she's a free hate of. Fa maybe she's a free you know, being upside down. I guess Mike he could be afraid of tight spaces because he was basically in a mine. With his brother, who be, he had to listen to his brother suffocate, ate to death. Death, a mine cave in, that's probably gonna be a really scary thing to be in. 
and trapped underground, essentially found, essentially buried alive. Hey, hey, um, hey, Ben, I'm not sure. I mean, granted, yes, I, as most of the time, they didn't really fuck. Most of them are meant for the, um, Ben, I'm, I'm sure, I think, so Ben, I'm pretty sure, was meant for, so Ben, I guess, was, I think his room was, pretty sure his room was, uh, uh, is maybe, I think the f uh, second to last room, but anyways, Hayes, is is moving right along. His room was the second to last room, but anyway, is, so, oh, we do find out interesting things. Like we find out that Jason, <laughs> when explaining his backstory, he says that he and his roommate go on a a boating trip. And things go horribly wrong, and they got uh, set, uh, 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 hung because the boat capsized, and it is, and then his roommate is, and there was a, only one coat, and his roommate went crazy and swam off. But in the reality, he, Jason turns out uh, killed his roommate because as he's as it's either him or me, he's and survival is a choice. This is what he basically says. And no, he, oh, Jason is the one who survives, and I'll get to that. But anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, so, oh, oh yeah. Uh, so, their first, now, like I said, the characters are kind of a one note, and basically the reason to see this movie is for oh, the very elaborate rooms themselves. I love watching, watching these rooms and the puzzles. Uh, I love watching the puzzles. I love watching the clues. Who's I love watching them figure it out. How I always oh, oh stuff that hidden stuff of uh, trying to figure out clues. That's always it's been something that's appealing to me, even if it is is doing it with uh, uh, or being uh, under the condition under the threat of being turned into a uh, of being uh, of being he, uh, of being cooked a lot in a gigantic oven or Return or freezing to death in an, in, an out, in an outside area that's a area that's indoors or whatever. Never. Oh God, I am really gonna get banned for this video. But anyways, is yeah, yeah. So, oh, well, like I said, the uh, the rooms are the reason to see this, see this movie. It will be all the intricacy, little intricacy, little intricacies of the rooms. All the puzzles, those watching them go through the peril. That's that is the reason to see he it he this movie 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 movie. Especially he, my personal favorite room um, is definitely the upside down pool hall because uh, pool hall because that one is just well, well it, the first time you see it it's just really really trippy. Hippie and base in how the ceiling con is constantly fall ceiling, which it is con where well, the floor is constantly falling out from under them, and the and basically and if they and basically the way that he would die in that room is basically they fall to their death. So yeah, uh, and that's that's a gift. Uh, uh, now I do want to talk about how, what, I th what I think is think is one of, of is some, one of this movie's movie's weak points that that kind of kind of brings it down, and that is that is the is the after Ben gets out of the last room, escapes the last room, room, mm. and that is is the fact that, that when we it's revealed that this is been, that, that these series of rooms are essentially a sort of a basically a a TV a TV show for, oh, for, oh that, and, uh, rich and powerful people watch. Yeah, that classic trope. Oh, which I think, which I don't think they really needed that to do, needed to have that. They didn't really need that, that, uh, that I mean, come on. Come on. Really, I think that's one of this movie's his main weak point. And it's the characters are 
characters are for the most part are, are, are well, except with the exception of Danny, tolerable. Well, but that is just the fact. This is basically some sort of sick game show. Well, I think it's just kind of stupid, stupid, stupid. Just for stupid, and I, and I think it really brings this. Why well, does it really? But I think it does bring this movie down. Now the very, very ending where after after Ben and Zoe have escaped because have actually escaped the facility. Hillity. Hillity, where he's a Hillity, and they're meeting him in public. Like where Zoe said, he's basically discovered the location of of this is uh, these people's hideout. And then afterwards, it shows that concocting a simul, testing out a simulation to try to uh, make uh, prevent because Zoe and, and Zoe from finding them because Zoe wants to expose these people for people because she can't let this keep happening. And yeah, yeah. And, I mean, yada yada yada, and they're basically testing the simulation of location of how to get rid of her. That I think is a little. I don't really think that part was was really necessary. A little che, maybe a little cheesy, a little hokey there. And I will say that one of the uh, interesting things about this movie is that the villain, that the true villain, is never really revealed. I mean, granted, I think they're trying to imply that it's this this high up guy. Uh, a, a, a probably a, a super a corporate power, a oh, super powerful corporate dude, but we never really learn who he is, which is definitely, it, 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 it normally would be interesting, but uh, in the context of this whole movie, well, no, oh, oh scratch that, uh, it's not interesting. I think the fact is interesting. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't really think it's a sequel. Oh, oh, di oh this movie... I'm not really sure how you would uh, make a sequel to this movie, the other than and literally starting a, starting a new who basic saw type franchise. Is anime is and basically he having this having different themes for the characters and having there's every there's every time and then just I'm I mean having some and having a new resolution. The problem I see here. Uh, and I see there is constantly being able to come up with new new rooms because I mean saw of, uh, is individual traps that you're trapping individuals was and yes as, as, as I know it was the traps have gotten kind of kind of dumb and it's basically he just has a bunch of a needless gore over the years but still hell you know, saw was individual traps for individual people the, oh he he evil. And he was basically, basically designing these traps around what and specific themes for each person. Here, where the thing is, you're getting a group of, of people, of strangers together, or all of who have a certain theme that connects them, whereas X them, and then and instead of trapping them in saw traps, perhaps what uh, you're doing, perhaps you have to basically, perhaps the whole thing is based. Uh, so you have to create rooms with each room crew made for one of these per person's backstories, and basically have to explain because you would, then you would have to explain every backstory so it would fit in with the context of the movie. That's the problem. I'm setting up for an escape. This is not one that I think would get a sequel because it was as I, like I just explained. I think it would just be too hard to do. Who just to come up with different themes? I don't see it. Be something like that. Hey. Sorry about that. Like I was saying, I just don't see something like that going past, past maybe uh, past at best a third, best a, a third installment. Because beyond that, that. Uh, you'd have uh, the themes you would have to come up with would just get ridiculous. The rooms would get. Uh, Insane, and I mean, come on, on what would you do? On, on coming up with different room and theme, and theme rooms and different and themes for the uh, core, and all that. Uh, that would be just be kind of, I mean, come on, that would be on.
upon it. That's just going to get crazy e easy. And I will say here, here that I do think they show oh, oh, that the attention to detail was good. Good here for the rooms. And I'm not saying rooms. rooms. Yes, uh, it was basically the Saw franchise. But like I said, it didn't really take itself too seriously. Yeah, and I could just see the, the sequel was, was taking themselves way too seriously. He said, seriously, or just going, or just going off, or just going on the other end and just going completely balls out, out, out crazy. He would be to the point where we have rooms that are just uh, straight up unbelievable. Oh. Oh. And that, I think, is just. And that would just devolve, and it and it would just all devolve, because like, like I said, you'd have to bring in di different actors every time, huh? And two, who different people? What? Uh, what's their backstory? What's their, boy, what? Oh, why? Hey, and now I'm just, and now I'm just starting to repeat myself. So yeah, yeah, and uh, 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 so basically that's escape room. In a nutshell, and oh, so oh, and my the final verdict for escape room, I'm going to give it, it it's a seven out of ten. And I think the the whole point of it being some weird TV show and he show oh oh I think kind of brought it down on not on a bit it but I, I did enjoy this movie movie and. Movie. So, would I recommend I'm going to see it? I'd say actually, yeah. Just let's don't go, don't go in it thinking you're going to see be something like I'm um, sort of math, something like Saw One. Go go in this this with in this is just expecting to have a fun fun time, and because that's what you need to do with this movie. It's not don't take it too seriously. Seriously, you don't expect serious characters here. Uh, just you know, just go into this movie with a with an open movie with your head thing, and just expect to see heck a good time. Hell, in a, hell, in a, hell, if anything, just and just take a, a cube saw uh, all the uh, 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 ridiculous moments from that those movies and put them together, and, ex and that's what you should go into this movie expecting. Acting. So yeah. Uh, uh, and that here it is, it's escape room six out of ten. <laughs> no, seven out of ten. I'm losing it. Seven out of ten. Go see it, but don't take it too seriously. And well, that about wraps up for this video. My name is Second One Eight Fourteen. Thank you so much for watching. May I want to always be at your back. See you next time.